Hi everyone, it's Four Corners and welcome to the update video. The sets for the Ninjago Crystallize season have officially been revealed. I'm not going to delay any longer, so let's get right into the main sets because these are epic. I'm going to start off with the least exciting set. It's 71759, the Dragon Temple. And actually for a 4 plus set, this one might be the best one ever. Just look at that dragon. It has some pretty nice colors as well as the main structure builds here have good color choices with the dark orange sand. But it is a 4 plus set so that we don't really have much to talk about it here. But now let's move on to the actual Ninjago Crystallize sets because that has nothing to do with the actual season. We're going to start off with 71768, Jay's gold dragon motorbike just look at this thing so the build is going to have one feature where you can articulate that gold dragon head up and down i wouldn't really count that as a feature but it is something that exists the bike itself looks like it's going to roll really really well i like the fact that you're getting a spider droid here because it actually gives jay something to battle speaking of jay let's take a look at the minifigures which are the real highlight here First of all, the Crystal Samurai looks nothing like I thought they were going to look like. There's no conical hats or katanas. These guys look like full-on scary dinosaurs. That is very interesting. And then Jay, oh my goodness, look at those transparent arms and the golden wings. I can't wait to see how these things are going to be animated in the show. It's going to be $20 this set when it comes out, which looks just about right. Next up, we have 71769 Cole's Dragon Racer. So the build, kind of wish it had suspension, it looked like it would have suspension originally, but it's just going to have these blades that pop out forward. But generally it looks like this car is trying to be two different awesome things, because the front looks very off-road and cool, I like how the wheels are still black and not gold in the front, and then towards the back it gets a little polished and the vehicle changes aesthetic. I feel like they should have just stuck to one and kept it, I would have been more happier if those back wheels were black as well. The minifigures are the real highlight here because you're getting that dinosaur samurai again and you're getting Asphira who is holding a crystallized sword of fire. So that's the cool thing about the golden weapons. They're going to be able to attach to these crystal attachments so that you can have crystallized golden weapons and normal golden weapons. Then we have the golden winged Kai figure which again looks very cool. He's following the same format with transparent legs and transparent arms. He's probably my least favorite golden ninja out of the bunch though. And then we have a golden ninja cool, like a normal suit, just golden. This is going to be $40, which to me looks alright, especially considering the fact that most of these figures are exclusive. Plus that gold dragon wing Kai is basically like its own tiny side build. So that looks pretty good. Next up we have 71770 Zane's gold dragon jet. This one we've seen a lot of before, but these are good HD images. The main feature here is going to be that the front wings fold in to make an X. I don't know how this feature is activated. It looks like you're going to have to do it manually because there's no button or anything. The build itself looks pretty good. The main highlight here being the cockpit section because that gold dragon head merges so well with the canopy piece. As for figures, again, they're the highlight here. We have the Skull Sorcerer who has a crystallized scythe the quakes. I really like how that new scythe looks. There is a golden version of normal crystallized Zane. That looks cool. I really like the logo on his ninja band. Definitely a good design. And then we're getting Gold Dragon Winged Cole, who looks super powerful. I've been waiting to get a Super RX Cole, or at least something close to that, and this looks epic with all the orange. Orange is the way to go with Cole. This is probably one of my more favorite Gold Dragon Winged figures. This is going to be $30, which looks, again, just about right. The Temple of the Crystal King, 71771. This set looks really fun. Most Ninjago structure sets have this problem where it's hard to get into the rooms and spaces because they're all so cramped. This one is very open. You can easily play with this. The main idea is the four structures here hold all four golden weapons. You're going to see the Sword of Fire on the right, the Scythe of Quakes on the top, Nunchucks of Lightning over there on the side, and Shurikens of Ice in the bottom. The main ninja team, you're getting the normal versions of them, and those guys are exclusive, as well as the Crystal King. For features, it's actually pretty cool. You're going to be able to knock out the bridge, and when Jay's trying to get the Nunchucks of Lightning, you're going to be able to knock Jay to the side, or if you're trying to get the Sword of Fire, a crystal will come and slice you. There's also a jail cell to put a dude. That's kind of standard for these structure sets. 
Again, the new golden weapons are looking pretty cool. The scythe and the shurikens are definitely upgrades, and the nunchucks of lightning and the sword of fire, they're welcome additions. They're not my favorite upgrades though. And this set is going to be $80, which is a little bit of a stretch. That's kind of the case with all these sets for this wave, but it's fine since there's so much exclusive stuff that they're making for each of these sets. Next up, speaking of Crystal King, we have 71772, the Crystal King. He has four legs and it's going to be this giant mech-like beast. It's going to be $70 in the US. And right now I don't see it. To me it looks a little small. But just looking at the set by itself without the price, it looks very cool. You're getting Harumi with transparent katanas. I haven't seen katanas as cool as that since forever. That's such a standard piece and I can't believe they actually made it interesting after so long. I thought we were supposed to get a caped Lloyd in the set, but that is just a normal crystallized Lloyd. Again, exclusive to the set. The Crystal King here only has two arms, which is weird. He's just growing arms in the middle. And the actual Crystal King set doesn't have any crazy features. You're just going to be able to put this guy in the cockpit. I wish that there was some sort of feature, like an arm waving feature. There's just articulation. The back looks a little skimpy. But I want to see the actual set, maybe a set review before making my final opinion on it because they're not showing us how that back blends in. Next up we have one of my favorite sets of this wave, it's 71773 Kai's Golden Dragon Raider. And this is such a unique design, it could have went wrong in so many ways, but it works so well for me. I mean look at it, first of all it's a two-seater, I love two-seater Ninjago vehicles, it just looks so much more fun. Uh, we barely get a vehicle where you can put two people in it. Just look at the main cockpit section, it looks so strong and fun to roll around. I just want to get this and roll it around. Zane, Golden Wing figure. He is officially my favorite Golden Wing figure. Mr. E, this time he's going to lose against Zane because Zane is super powerful and he looks super cool. Mr. E on the other hand looks a little weird. He doesn't look cool as he used to. He just looks like a general, which is alright, I guess that makes sense for the season, but I guess Mr. E just kind of lost his coolness. You're getting three of those Crystal Samurai Dinosaurs as well. Skylar is also a really nice inclusion and it's worth mentioning that you get a normal gold version of Crystallized Kai in the set. The main feature of this set is you're going to be able to activate it into this cool off-road mode. The wheels even go to the side so it looks like the, the middle it just folds and stuff happens as you do that. There are a bunch of spring-loaded missiles in the set, but they only point upwards, which doesn't look very useful to me, especially since all the bad guys are on the ground. You'd only be able to shoot someone like Zane. Overall, I think the off-road feature looks pretty cool. I just can't wait to see how it's done to put my final opinion on it, because it could be really, really fun. This set is going to be $90. Mm, I don't see the $90, because for $90, you get a lot bigger sets. I mean, just look at previous Ninjago waves. Again, this wave is kind of stretching it with the prices, which is kind of surprising for Ninjago. But since this is such a good set, I guess I can kind of let $90 slide. 71774, Lloyd's Ultra Gold Dragon. This is the big one. Look at the main build. It looks so, so cool. Each head just stands out, especially Zane's head. I really like the blue. It gives the much needed pop the dragon needs because everything else is just gold. We'll get to the figures in just a bit. Let's just appreciate the dragon. The tail is going to be articulatable. It's not going to be one of those swiveling tails that we usually get. I guess kind of unfortunate. I like the swiveling tails a little bit more. The main feature here is you're going to twist that spinjitsu top piece and then the wings can splay out. I originally thought you can flap the wings, you know, like firstborn and everything but it doesn't look like you can do that. It just looks like you can spread the wings out, which is still a cool feature and a good effort. Look at that tail. That is sharp. I like the winglets on the tail. I've always wanted those in a Ninjago dragon. That looks pretty fun. So you're getting the main gold ninja, and then Lloyd with an Oni mask. So Lloyd's tapping into his Oni side with dragon powers. What? That doesn't even make sense. That is so crazy. I like how the golden ninja look, the gold ninja symbols on the top, they're pretty clean. Then we get the crystal samurai dinosaurs and then finally the vengestone buyer. Also, Lloyd gets a throne in this set and it has all four golden weapons. That is a clean look. 
Overall, I like this set. It's just that right now the price and the parts ratio just don't add up to me, but I feel like this dragon is going to be a lot bigger in person. We'll see when it actually comes out. Next up we have 71775. This is the last set of the day, Nia's Samurai X Mech. And this one, originally, it's kind of a disappointment to me because it doesn't look as cool as I thought it was. It looks a little chunky in some places. But you know what it does do? It looks unique, at least. It's not trying to be more of the same we've gotten in the past and just try to refine that. It's actually trying to be kind of its own thing, which is a good thing. At least, it stands out. The cockpit section is probably my favorite because Nia looks so snug in that area. Usually... Ninjago mech cockpits tend to be very open and you don't really feel the safety in that so this is a very good feature. You're also getting an alternate dragon in the set which makes the set so much more fun. You actually get something to fight and you can kind of pretend that flies right and that would make this a very formidable opponent. You're getting a full playset in a box which I always support. The figures are the craziest part of this set because you are getting Little Nelson, who looks very, very cool now. He doesn't look as chumpy as he used to be. I like how he's getting purple and neon blue. I want him to grow up because he doesn't look cool with those little legs. I want him to grow up and actually turn into an actual ninja. You're getting a gold crystallized J. Cool. You're getting gold dragon master Wu. I don't know where Wu put the gold dragon armor, but it looks like he found it again and he's using it. Is it important to the plot or is he just wearing it? I'm not sure. And look, his brother is fighting alongside him again after so long. Lord Garmit on his back. And they actually fixed how his Oni face looks. They actually made it cool. I'm glad. I don't know why he has two arms though. How did he cancel out his other two arms? Weird. I always like two arm Garmit on more though. It's nice to see the brothers fighting together. You're getting a crystallized samurai dinosaur and then... You get the mechanic, which is really cool. Everyone's been wanting to get the mechanic for so long. This is a crystal version, but it's still a mechanic. They couldn't get his Nindroid eye completely right, but it's still a good effort. And then you're getting Pythor. I think the gray torso doesn't really match with his white tail piece. It just sticks out to me, but a Pythor figure is a Pythor figure, so still pretty cool. This set is gonna be $120. I don't see the $120 size here. It looks just as big as something like the Titan mech for $80 or the Firestone mech for $70. But maybe it's bigger than I think it is. This mech design is starting to grow on me slowly and I'm pretty sure by the time the set actually comes out I'll start really loving this. But that is all for looking at all the Ninjago Crystal Ice sets. Comment down below which one was your favorite. Mine is probably Kai's Gold Dragon Raider because it comes with a really cool Goldwing Zane and the vehicle itself is pretty unique and cool. Right after I finish and release this video, I have to start getting a piece of paper and writing down how much money I have versus how much sets I can get because I really want to collect all these figures but I can't really buy all the sets so I gotta start planning, you know. I'm pretty sure that's what all of you guys are doing. So happy planning to all of you. Thank you for watching a crystallized update video on the brand new sets. And as usual, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.